I'm very excited that we're going to be closing the season this year with The Real Inspector Hound and Black Comedy. Uh, and what these two shows are is uh, The Real Inspector Hound is a, uh, is a basically a spoof of the Agatha Christie uh, murder mystery. And Black Comedy is the traditional big British farce, lots of slapstick and people falling downstairs, upstairs, all of the things that we incorporate and, and think of the whole kitchen sink of comedy uh, that we'll throw in for uh, black comedy. You need me to make an Yes! No! Well, why not? Ah, uh, never mind. Why do you I don't. Go away. Okay, well, I'm Andy Foster. I'm a sophomore theater performance major here at Western, and I am playing the role of Clea in black comedy. <laughs> Um, black comedy is a farce, and it's complicated because it, it takes place in Brinsley's apartment. And this is a very special night for Brinsley. He's having a dinner party, and he's an artist, and a buyer's coming to look at his work. But at the same time, his new fiance's father's coming to meet him as well. And before all of these guests arrive, his apartment loses power, hence the title Black Comedy. And um, throughout the night, different guests appear, the father, the buyer, and his ex-girlfriend, Clea. And it's, it's interesting because no one can see each other and it's just, you're seeing actors fumble around on stage paying attention and listening to each other because they can't actually see one another. So there's a lot of playing with the dark, especially with my character and using that to kind of make the night more interesting for Brinsley. <laughs> I'm Mitch Voss, I'm a senior theater performance major and I play the critic Moon in The Real Inspector Hound. One must reserve judgment, of course, until the confrontation, but I think it's pretty clear where we're headed. Yeah. It's a play within a play, so that the critics are within the audience and interact with the audience, and we're viewing the play at the same time, and then as the play progresses, it kind of spills and lines are blurred as the play goes on. Ooh! Ah! The final piece of the jigsaw! Uh, definitely a lot of laughs. It's going to be a really, really fun evening. It's going to be crazy, and we're hoping that we can just make everybody just have a great time. I'm Ben Bauer. I did lighting and sound on the show. Uh, I'm a senior in the theater design and production program, and this is my final show here. It was actually really interesting for the, was for the design team as well as the actors. It was very different because they all rehearsed separately, and, the, and every other aspect of the show was designed separately with two scenic designers, two costume designers, and two casts. The shows are different. They're two completely different scripts, written by two completely different people, acted by two completely different companies that we've put into one evening of theater and the ways that we've found you know, the, the acting bits and the design bits where you can really kind of subtly pull them together is a really interesting thing to watch, I think. Both of these are considered the best examples of this genre of the one-act farce. Um, and what's going to be really special about the evening is that you're going to get two shows for the price of one, two comedies for the twice the price of one. That's twice as much laughter in the same space. Two different sets. So you come in, you see one show, and then the whole set changes, new actors, and you watch another one. Two for the price of one. That's what you want. I mean, it's going to be funny. <laughs>